like it fair cause I like it better <laughs> Guys, and my customs here I'm going to do a little unboxing video of something I got in the mail from uh, Batcap so let's see what we got here got us a nice little decal they sent us we got one of their mini caps here Right, that's the what they call the mini cap 50. It's a super capacitor, 10 farad cap. It's rated at uh, 16 volts, a 17 volt surge. So, like on a burp, you could run it up a little bit higher. Um, this is rated at uh, 50 amps uh, continuous pull for two seconds um, in a burst. Fully uh, enclosed hard plastic case here. You've got your positive and negative terminals. They're actually bolts here you would attach a ring terminal onto them and uh, good solid connection points here and then they're insulated so you don't have to worry about anything arcing on the terminals um, you can mount this virtually any direction whatsoever uh, the real cool thing about these super caps like this uh, they're very very light uh, this one weighs under a pound or right at a pound, I want to say. This would be beneficial to somebody, let's say, where you have like a 1500 to 2000 watt amp, maybe running a stock electrical setup. You might have the big three done, uh, maybe you want to upgrade a battery, but you got a little bit of voltage drop, but you're a, an average consumer to the point where you're, you know, this may be like a daily driver vehicle uh, where you just listen to music and not really real big heavy into competing. Um, you could use benefit uh, pretty greatly from a product like this. Uh, where it would pick up your your voltage in the in the transients of the music when you have real heavy bass lines and this would pull first because this has a very very low internal resistance so it would supply the amplifier with that initial hit or that initial surge and keep your voltage up keep your headlights from dimming things like this um, I wouldn't recommend this uh, in a big system where you're trying to basically put a band-aid on something. Uh, your electrical has got to be pretty up there to begin with, so that's where I would recommend this in a, in a small setup. It'd be uh, pretty beneficial. Um, even something like our the Kia that we have, where we're running a 2,000 watt amp um, on stock electrical, uh, this would be a great addition to that car. The way these things work, uh, you want to have this mounted as close to the amplifier as possible. So let's say this box was our amp. So if I was in the position where I could mount this right there next to the amp, that would be great. Um, you want these as close to the amp as possible because it's going to surge from this cap first, uh, which is what you want, uh, how you want these to function. So how these work is they have a little diagram in here that they even supply that shows you. And they've got a little specifications page here that explains everything, shows you the rate of discharge on the cap and gives you a lot of other um, technical stuff about the cap, but I won't bore you guys with all that information. Basically give you a little diagram here that shows you uh, how to connect this thing in series with your power wire. So the way they have it set up here is they have it actually as a separate segment, but what you could do is you could actually, coming from the car battery, you could go straight to the cap as close to the amplifier as possible and then come off this same stud and go over to the amplifier now they recommend putting a circuit breaker in line with that power wire and that's for charging the cap initially um, because if you try to connect these straight on um, with them not being charged up you're going to dump a lot of current in this cap really really fast um, so you're going to create a pretty big arc across that terminal point so um, they're basically having the arc happen internal in the, the circuit breaker which is uh, possible way to do it um, and then you also want to have the negative uh, grounded and they're recommending like I would too as well at the same point where you ground the amplifier that way you don't create a ground loop or anything like that um, another alternative to charging this cap that I would recommend which is pretty easy to do 
is uh, use a dome light like that and I've just this is a dome light from an auto parts store that you can get at like any of the big box auto parts places even Walmart sells these in the uh, automotive section uh, and I've got two cables here just soldered to the end of that and how this would work is you would connect this to the cap and then connect this other end to your power wire and the light will come on very bright initially because there's a lot of current rushing in but you're going to be regulating your current coming in because of the filament of the light so you're only going to be able to pass what that filament will be allowed to power as the cap fills up this light will go dimmer because you have less current flowing across you're starting to equalize the cap with your system voltage so as this completely goes out, that is your indicator to let you know, okay, time to remove this and hook my power wire up direct. Now I don't have a big spark. So you're essentially making it safer to connect these caps like this. So that's how I would always recommend using something like this to charge these. You can also use a resistor. Uh, you want a pretty low ohm load resistor, but you want it to be a, a high wattage rating, like... Uh, 5 watt resistor would probably be a good a good uh, resistor to use. You can use smaller than that, but it's just going to get very hot because there's a lot of current obviously flowing across it to charge this up. It's an so, awesome product. Um, I love caps. Um, I've just started using them, the super caps especially in my truck, and I can't complain about them. Uh, they're fantastic products. So uh, This is pretty cool stuff here. Um, let me know what you guys think about the video. Uh, if you got any questions, post them in the comment section and I'll see what I can do to help you all out. Um, I know a little bit about caps and I'm trying to learn more and more um, the more I play with them. But uh, this is something pretty cool. I really like the way this thing's put together and how it's made and just how light it is and just all the options you could have with this. I mean, it's, it's a really nice setup. So, uh, as always guys, keep it loud and I'll talk to you all later. See you. Oh, baby, oh, baby.